Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Well, we've got an animated live Google map for you today. As you can see, that's kind of zooming in, bit of a Ken Burns type effect there. And then zooming back out again. I've got it doing this over a 30 second period. When you put your mouse over it, it's gonna stop the animation and it becomes a live Google map, which is great. And we're gonna embed this map we're going to do it today without using an API key. Really easy to do. So let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder. Once enabled, I'm going to go down. I'm going to delete the actual map that we've got there, which is in a section. I'm going to go to the back end. Wireframe mode. There it is right there. I'm going to just delete this whole section. And we'll go back desktop mode back past our mega menu and let's add a new section here inside that section I'm gonna make it a regular section inside the section I'm gonna add a single column single row I'm gonna put a code module in there there's a little code module okay I'm gonna get my map now so just go over to Google type in maps it'll bring up the map for you put in the address that you want up here I'm going to use the Empire State Building for mine today. There it is right there. Zoom it in or out to the sort of size that you want it to display on your site. I think I'll have mine something like that. Put the little location icon somewhere around the middle. And then we've got a little button over here that says Share. What we're going to do is click on the button and hit the Embed Map. There's the map. We've got some HTML code up here in iframe. We can just hit the copy HTML to copy it. It's let us know it's copied it. And we can just paste it in our little code module right here on our Divi site. And if I roll this down, there's our little map there. Now it's not filling out my row because my row comes to about over here. If we look at this code, we've got a width. 600 and we've got a height. I'm going to turn my width to 100%. That way any size screen that it's on, it's going to actually fill it for us. So I'm going to say 100 and the percent sign. As you can see, that's now filling up our row. Great. I'm also going to make it 500 pixels tall. I just want it slightly taller and we've got height here. So I'm going to change that 450 into a 500. Don't put any pixel on the end. That just makes it a little bit deeper. Okay, well, let's make this map full width. So it stretches the whole of the screen. To do that, we need to go into our row. Green tab for a row right here. Going to go in there. Going to go to design and sizing. Going to roll down a little bit width wise. I'm going to say 100%. I'm going to copy that, Control C, and paste it down below in max width. Control V to paste, or you can just type it in there if you prefer. We've now got a full width live Google map. Great. Well, we've got a bit of space top and bottom. While we're actually in the row, I'm going to make this row 500 pixels tall, purely because I'm going to have this map grow in size and I'm going to hide the overflow on the row so you don't see it spilling out of the row. So still in design, I'm going to simply put 500 pixels in the height here. We're in the row, design tab, under sizing. I'm simply going to put 500 there. That shrunk our row down. Still got a little bit of gap top and bottom. That's padding on our section and our row there. So while we're in our row, let's take any padding away, which will be under spacing just below. Simply put it a zero in the top. It'll put the picks for you, hit the chain, it'll do the bottom. Now we've still got a bit of space top and bottom here. So that's gonna be in our section. Let's save the row and we'll go into the section, a little blue tab for the section. Over to design, spacing, and we'll do exactly the same thing. Just put a zero in there, hit the chain. Now we've got this map taking up the whole of this section in a full width row. Fantastic. 
Okay, well let's animate this thing so it kind of fades in slowly then zooms out. To do this today I'm going to use a code module or if you wanted to you could do this in your additional CSS panel. I'm going to simply add a new code module. So it doesn't really matter where you put it. I'm going to add a new module, little dark tab right here. I'm going to use another code module and we can start writing some code. And I'll put all this code down below for anybody that wants to use it. First thing I'm going to do is open some style tags to tell it we're writing some CSS. Now this is the only bit of the code I can't put down below because of the pointed brackets. So everything in between these style tags I'll put down below. If you're using a code module, remember you'll need to write these style tags, opening style tag, which is just style, and closing style tag, which is just style with a forward slash in front of it. Okay, once you've got that, we can start writing a bit of code. Well, we haven't given this a class yet, but let's invent a class for it. I'm gonna say map zoom. So all classes have a dot or a period in front of them. Map ZM. My shorthand for map zoom. We can open and close some curly brackets now. And we can actually tell it what we want it to do. Well, I want it to be an animation, so I'm going to say animation name. And we've got to create a name for this animation. I'm going to make it map, a longhand zoom. Can't be the same thing as our class there, but it, it's pretty similar. It can be anything you want, but I like it to make mean something to me. Okay, so we've got our name right there for our animation. How long we actually want the animation to take which is animation duration. I'm going to make my make say 30 seconds. Obviously you change the timing for yours, however you wish. And how many times do we want it to happen? That's animation iteration count. Well, I might want mine to keep going and going. So I'm going to say infinite. And pop a little semicolon on there. Great. Well, we've got class name for our module that we'll give it in a minute. We've got an animation name. Now we have to actually create that animation. So after our little class closing curly bracket there, I'm going to drop down and I'm going to say at keyframes because that's what we're using to build it today. And the name that we gave our animation was map zoom right there. So it's at keyframes, the name map zoom. And then we can open and close some more curly brackets here and create the actual animation. So it's going to start at 0% or when the page loads at second one of the 30 seconds we've put up there. So I'm going to say 0%, open and close some curly brackets in between. I'm going to make mine scale up in size. So I'm going to say transform, colon, scale. No gap at the end of scale, open some round brackets right there. And inside, I want it to start off at regular size, which is one. And you can do different comma separated values for width and height if you want to. So if you wanted to do different width and height, you could do one comma 1.5 if you wanted to. I'm going to keep mine just like that though. And I'm going to copy this a couple of times. Control C. And drop down. One, two. And I'm going to say at 50%. Halfway through our 30 seconds, so 15 seconds if you like, I'm going to make mine perhaps 1.2 the size. You know, the larger you make it, the more dramatic the effect is going to be. Then when it gets back to 100%, let's change this to 100. It wants to go back to 1 again. That's great. Well, that's all the code we need to write. And remember, I'll put this bit below the video. You'll have to add your style tags if you're using a code module. You don't need to add those if you're using your additional CSS panel. Right, well, let's just copy this class name. And we'll save our changes here. Let's go into our map now. And I'm actually going to give it that class name. So here's our map code right here. We need to give it that class name. So let's go over to advanced. CSS IDs and classes. It's a class, so we need to put it in CSS class there. And there it is. And as you can see, it's actually started animating as soon as we got in there. But we've got a bit of a problem here. It's actually growing and covering up the footer below and the little section above. 
That's fine. All we need to do to fix that is hide the overflow on the row that it's in. And we gave that row a fixed height, I believe. Or well, if we didn't, we need to. So let's save the changes here. We're going to go into the row, the green tab. Let's make sure we gave it a fixed height in design here. Sizing. Yeah, we did 500. So all I need to do is go over to advanced, down to visibility, remember we're in the row, and switch the horizontal and vertical overflow to off, or hidden. And as you can see, it's containing it within that row. It's still growing and shrinking, but it's staying the same height within that row. That's great, but, we kind of want this animation to stop when they hover over it so they can zoom in and locate what they need to locate. So let's just add a bit to our code module. Here's our code module down here. So just after the last bit right there. I'm going to drop down. And I'm going to use that class name again. Including the dot. And I'm going to create a hover state for it. Right at the end, with no gap, I'm going to put a colon and the word hover. Again, with no gap. Don't put a gap on there, it won't work. <laughs> Let's open this, close some curly brackets. And inside, I'm simply going to write animation colon none. Then when they hover over it, that animation should stop. There we go. As you can see now, it's actually stopping. Great, well that should take care of it. Let's save our changes now. And we'll save draft or publish. Let's exit our visual builder. And here we are, there's our little animated map. And anything that animates like that, it's gonna get people's eyes on it pretty quickly, which is great. When we hover over it, it's gonna stop, go back to how it is. And we can control and just use it as a live Google map. And when you take your mouse off, it'll continue its animation. Really nice effect to have on your site, really easy to do, a little bit of coding, but don't forget the codes down below. So there you go guys, that's how to create an animated live Google Map with no API key. Don't forget, if you've got any questions, put them down below the video, I'll do my best to answer them for you or make a demo video. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.